be dead from a from a battleship. And then it's like the same thing for battleships to cruisers. It's like, well, wait a minute. I got this cruiser at 45 degrees to me. I shoot a full AP salvo into him. He should be fucking crippled by that. Yeah, depending on their armor, HE versus AP, but like, I fire a, a AP salvo at a fucking cruiser, and I do like 2 to 3 K with AP. I have to wait 30 seconds to reload. Meanwhile, he's putting his third fucking salvo of HE into me that's doing 3,000 a pop. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck is this shit? Especially because they really under armor the super shark. Well, on some ships they have. I mean, if you tried to get well, HE damage from cruiser caliber and smaller on a uh, on the New Mexico. Well, some some of them it seems to be working where you'll do like nothing or a couple hundred. That's it, which seems more accurate because like destroyers fighting a battleship. It should be torpedoes, or you're fucked. This whole like sit in a, a fucking smoke screen and just throw fucking HE at the wall until they light on fire. It's kind of bullshit because HE isn't going to do shit to the kind of armor that the superstructure has on a battleship. Well, sure, but you know, then again, because... you start going from realisticness, you know, realism to balance. But the th well, the thing is, is that destroyers should destroyer guns should be for fighting <laughs> destroyers and doing some damage to a cruiser. Other than that, they should. Torpedo based. This gun based torpedo uh, destroyer shit is fucking retarded. Well, some of the destroyers are mostly gunboats, so I mean, just look at the new Japanese line. It's <laughs> it's the gunboat DDs, you know, and you know that they're eventually going to have a tier ten. Well, my my, my my point is like the only time that I recall hearing about a destroyer really being able to attack a battleship was the fucking Star Wars. And that was after two British battleships tore him the fuck up first, so that he only had one working gun left and no radar, so that he couldn't effectively fire back. And then they got within range to fire torpedo spray and actually get some fucking torpedoes on him. Sorry, I don't, I don't remember what you were. What ship are you referring to? Because I was busy nuking a, uh, a mobile suit. Sharn. The Sharn. The Yeah. In real life, that's how she went down. It was a. Uh, I forget which British battleship was chasing her, and a couple of cruisers, and some destroyers, and basically the battleship faced off. Char horse got its radar knocked out, and took like one hit, and then tried to run. Cruisers came up, fired some more shells, fucked it up a little bit, and I think they actually got a hole because the flooding was slowed it down. And then I think they hit like a boiler, or the flooding affected the boiler, and it slowed down some battleships. So the battleship, the battleship threw a bunch more shells into it, actually fucked the ship pretty good. Knocked out most of the guns. And then the destroyers, the escort destroyers, fucking hauled ass up in front, got into a position to do a torpedo run, and they hit it with a few torpedoes. And then the uh, battleship and the cruisers came in and finished her off. なかなかどうした早く。ちょっと。いいね。もう。ダンス続くかもな。ま、ミニカーも。ダンス続くかもな。ダンス続くかもな。ダンス続くかもな。ダンス続くかもな。ダンス続くかもな。ダンス続くか
So it's kind of one of those trade-off things where you fire half as often, but your chance to start a fire is like double. You know, that I can kind of agree with. But like, fucking Atlanta using destroyer guns and it's just sitting here fucking machine gun firing and lights you on fire from stem to stern in like 30 seconds and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Those wow. guns would not be doing that much of shit. They're destroyer guns, so they're still not... Well, they wouldn't be doing up. nothing either, I mean... Well, they'd be fucking a little bit of shit up, but nothing really important. All the important shit on a battleship is under armor. And a destroyer's guns are not gonna fuck with that armor because battleship right, armor is designed to protect against the same caliber guns as the battleship itself is carrying. So if it's a 14 inch gun on the battleship, the armor layout is designed to stop 14 inch shells from penetrating the citadel. And other vital point points, like the whole bridge area has the same fucking amount of belt armor on it, or armor on it, as the belt does. Like 350 fucking millimeters is what the whole structure around the bridge is the armor. Yeah. So it's like, um, your HE isn't going to do shit to hit the bridge. You might, you know, hit some, you know, stuff, you know, further back that's, you know, not as important that they didn't bother slapping as much armor on, but... Yeah, except for the, the thing that they have to kind of balance against is the lack of uh, crew death affecting ships and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'd actually be kind of cool if they had it. Yeah. 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 yeah, permanent battle damage for that particular battle. Because um, that, that's kind of I mean, that's kind of what you're 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 saying that there's nothing important up there except for in a real ship there would be crew. You know, there'd be depends, command crew. Well, there'd be there'd be the aircraft. What area you're talking about? The aircraft gunners, the the secondary gunners, those, and well, well, yeah, you got the secondary gunners. I mean, secondary guns get knocked out all the time. But um, a, a lot of that area of the superstructure, hearing of battle conditions, is pretty much void of human life. Most of the crew is in the hull. Okay, they're in the boiler room, they're in the magazine, they're in the fucking guns. <laughs> they're in the bridge. There's not a lot, I mean, other than the AA gunners and secondary gunners, there's not a lot of other crew on the deck. Like, on the deck or in the superstructure User area up to the bridge. So, I mean, it's just one of those things, you know what I mean? My, my point is that destroyers have gotten better, but I think they a few of them still need, like, Particularly Russians, because the Russians have been really frustrating for me lately. It seems like every, America's got nerfed, or what, and, and whatnot. The Russian ones have it. It feels like. It's like a Russian destroyer looks at me in a battleship and I light on fire in two places. It's like, what the fuck? And the other day I was playing my Farragut, and I think I had like a chain of like 60 shells go going, and I still hadn't lit a fire yet. So it's that kind of thing. Did everyone leave now? Is the conversation dead? Oh, uh, you were just, I was just letting you rant there. I thought I'd let that rant roll for a bit longer and see, see how far uh, it <laughs> Get it all up your chest there, buddy. Fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Get it all up your chest. We, you know, we'll, well, that's fair. what we're here for. But yeah, I have to agree with you. I took out my um, Farragut, and I was fucking, I was hurling shit at this Russian destroyer, and it was just fucking nailing me every time. Yeah, the, 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 the Russians need to nerf their own destroyers a little bit. I mean, seriously, I should have, ta he should have just exploded in a ball of flame in three seconds, but he didn't. He, did, he actually limped away, it did more damage to me than I did to him, so I was like, yeah, what the fuck. Yeah. So, it's one of those things where the scaling, they need, once they finish the destroyers, hopefully they'll come and address the cruisers. Cruisers have the same, same problem to battleships that, you know, like, you know, they, they, the way they scale up, they don't scale back down. I mean, anything that's paper should be devastated by a battleship's HE barrage. And, of course, that HE should do kind of shitty damage to another battleship, because... Not really meant for that, but they still have some balancing to work out. Obviously. I play with I play with all the early risers this morning at one o'clock this morning. Yeah, like there was like 
10 of these guns guys on, but none of them fucking in team speak. So I invited them all by the chat and two of them like accepted my invitation, but they still didn't get on team speak. They just chatted in team chat rather than actually talk to me in the tears. It's oh fucking God. frustrating. Yeah. Well, a lot of those guys are going to end up cold if they're not careful. first game out in the T5, I went out and I fucking killed five tanks and I was just about to kill the Artie and this little shit in a, what's those funny little hexagonal head shaped things? T5, 